Hi guys, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl and today is Tracy's Tuesday Tips and I'm pretty excited about today's tip because it's one of those things that's little but then it has big implications in your business. So today what I want to talk to you about is something I found that was helpful to myself this week and then I realized Oh my gosh, like all the implications that it had in my business. So as business owners, we have to deal with business cards. We have to deal with websites. We're taking photos on our eBay and our Amazon accounts. And we are also, if we're on YouTube or social media, we're having to deal with not only the photos, but channel arts and intros and outros and just all of this stuff. And a lot of the materials, a lot of the programs that we can use is expensive. Like I own Adobe Premiere, which is one of the best programs out there. You can customize it and do everything and it's wonderful, but it's not really user friendly. You know, there's this huge learning curve I'm having to push through. And while it's, you know, top of the line, I wanted something that was a little easier to use. I chose to try PicMonkey. And the reason I did this, what you're going to see here in this video, is for my YouTube channel art. So the implications for YouTube are you can customize all of your thumbnails, you can do your channel art, you can just pretty much do anything with using PicMonkey. And the reason I was using that instead of my really fancy Adobe Premiere was the fact that it was so user friendly, it was free, and it had a lot of templates that were already there so that I can use it. Both fonts, both um, transparencies and overlays, You'll see what I mean in a second, but it was truly one-click edits for my photos. Anytime you come across something in your business where you need a graphic designer, which is really expensive, or if you just want to make a collage for your own personal use, or if you need to touch up existing photos, if you're into private label or eBay or you're creating a listing and you have to take photos, Pick Monkey is an excellent choice. I'm not affiliated in any way. I just couldn't stop playing with it this week. So I've mentioned it before, I've used it before, but I really dove in with this video to play. And I think you're going to like it. And I think once you start using it, you're gonna realize how many ways you can utilize this in your business. So this is the new channel art that we have on our YouTube community, Entrepreneur Girl. And I'm gonna show you how I used PicMonkey to do it. And I'm also gonna show you kind of how I progressed through a few designs as I was learning the program and getting more proficient at it. Okay, so here I am on my Entrepreneur Girl YouTube channel page. And I'm gonna go over here to this pencil, edit, channel, art, and then I'm going to hit how to create channel art. And I'm gonna scroll down here until I see channel art templates. And you'll see too, there's one for fireworks and there's one for Photoshop. I want to use the fireworks one, so I'm gonna go ahead and unzip that one. Google search for gray floral backgrounds because I'm trying to think of a way that maybe I could accent the entrepreneur girl and I think gray would do that and so you want an image that's going to have a large flower not some of these smaller designs so I'm going to kind of scroll through this and maybe flip back and forth between you know the existing logo and what I see here so I can kind of determine which might look the best. I'm going to also look up business transparent background since my channel is about, you know, business a lot. And transparent makes it a lot easier to deal with later when editing the art. So here I am on pickmonkey.com. This is the site we're going to use to edit our template for our YouTube channel art. So I'm going to hit edit, then I'm going to hit computer, and I need to go to wherever you saved your template. Channel art template fireworks. 
and I'm going to open that here. Okay, and this is what you should see. It shows you the dark gray area, and that's for the desktop, and then over here is for the tablet, and then that's the desktop max, and this is what your template should look like. I'm going to click on the butterfly, and then I'm going to click on geometric, and then I'm going to choose this rectangle with the curved edges because I want to put my Entrepreneur Girl logo in that. And the color two, I'm going to make that transparent so the inside is transparent for my logo, but I want it to have a border color. And I'm going to choose a dark gray. Now I'm going to add my own. I'm going to click on my EG logo. Okay, now I need to minimize this so that it fits. And you can see how fluid it is. It's pretty easy to move everything to the size that I want it to be. Okay. I'm going to start with that. Now I'm going to add text. I'm going to click on the T. And you can choose a font or you can use your fonts. One thing I like about PicMonkey is that you don't just have to use their stuff. You can get it off of Google or Tumblr or your own. And so I'm going to kind of look through here and see what I like. Kind of dig in this. So I think I'm going to try it. And then you can choose your color too. I'm eventually going to have a white background. So I want it to be a darker color. And size 90 is huge. So you can see how you can kind of play with it. 36 might be too small. All right, I like that. So I want to add another text. And what I'm going to try to do is kind of like do three of these that match each other. Or maybe I should make that a different color. All right, let's just kind of continue and see how it goes. Another cool option with PicMonkey is when you hit this butterfly again, you'll see that there's hearts, not only the geometric shapes that we used, but there's different options here. This little crown means that it's a, like a premier royal type of item, and you can't use it unless you pay an extra fee for those things. So I don't use those. I just kind of choose to you know do without but you can see that there's a lot of options I really don't think you need that there's a lot that you can do you know just playing with it so now I'm going to hit this wand feature here this is just so fun to play with <laughs> you can just do so much with it Familiarize yourself with all of these. Like I said, there's a lot of neat things that PicMonkey has, just standard, and it doesn't cost you anything to use. And then they also allow you to import from a lot of other places as well. So right now, we're going to click on this little wand feature here, and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see Draw. And you can see how much they have here. But here's Draw. And then I want it to be white, and I want the brush size to be as big as it can. Okay, and I'm just going to fill in the background because you could see where it had that standard template words and stuff behind it. And I don't want it to say any of that. I just want it to be... You can always see where my box is messing up. See how my logo is too far out of my box? So I'll have to make some adjustments to that now. Okay, so I'm playing with the adjustment of my box. I'm not sure I like the box. I'm trying to debate, do I like it without? It kind of looks plain to me. I want to play some more. I'm going to click on this grid button and I'm going to add my own. And this is where we saved the um, Google overlays that I was looking up. Kind of look and think which one I liked the best. And that's the light bulb. 
the fade. Like maybe I just want it to be faint. That's kind of neat. I guess I could try that just for fun. I'm going to go back to the butterfly and I'm going to play. I'm going to play with some of the ones that they have already here. Anything like that, I can fade it so it's not, you know, quite so heavy. I can change the color to match my logo, which is pretty cool. And even if you see something that you like, but you just don't like it in that color, I can change it to like this. I actually might make... that a little bigger. I'm kind of liking this. Okay, I think I want to try this on the channel and see if I like it there. So I'm going to click Save. And this is kind of important because you're going to get two different options here. And you want to save it as the JPG, not the PNG, because sometimes YouTube will give you a problem with the other one. So you want to make sure that it's the JPG one. I'm going to save it to my computer. Now I'm going to keep this open until I try it out on my channel. I don't want to lose this. Okay, so here's our existing channel art. And I'm going to click on it, edit. I'm going to upload. And then it shows me here I can adjust the crop. If it clicks this button, I unclick it because it kind of changes the color in weird ways. But I can look and see if I like the way it optimizes for all of this. Like, I'm not sure this is going to work because you can't see it. So I'm going to adjust the crop and I'm going to make it more, I'm going to make it more zoomed in here to this. Hmm, now I'm trying to look at it and see. See, do I like it better than the other one? The whole point that I was trying to do is say, hey, I have weekly videos, and then kind of a tagline for what my channel is about. So I think this is important information, and I like that it has a little bit of visual interest. Um, tell me your thoughts below. Give me some feedback. And this is why it's important to keep all of these tabs open on your computer, because you can just tweak and go back and forth. Okay, so now I am trying a different one to see if I like it better, and I already think I do. Hard to know what I'll end up with because I'm having so much fun just playing. I'm really impressed with PicMonkey though, because I have Adobe, Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop, and just the, you know, the ones that they already have, the overlays that they already offer, just makes it a lot easier than trying to invent your own. So I'm really enjoying it, and we'll see how it goes from here. Here's the new one. Um, this just kind of seems too far, but I do like this, I think, better than the previous one. Okay, this is what I think I'm going to stick with. Okay, so these are the three. This is regular, this is with the bubble, and this is with the pen, like a post-it note. Okay, I'm going to click Edit, Computer. I'm going to go to my Downloads file. I'm going to find my template right there. I'm going to open that. Then I'm going to go to my Butterfly for the overlay, and I'm going to click on my own. And I'm going to use a photo this time that I bought from Shutterstock, which is a photo service that I use to buy photos sometimes. I'm going to use this one and click Open for that. Now I'm going to resize it so that I'm in the border area that I need to be in. Let's match it to my little man here. I'm going to add some text.
Edit channel arcs. Good. So I'm just going to hit enter. See what we think about that. Oh my gosh, I found a girl version of this on Shutterstock. I like that one. I like that one. Oh, I like that one. These ones seem too cramped. That was the original one, and that is the new one. Let me know your thoughts. So I hope today's video is helpful to you. I look forward to the next video, and I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.